part three of my testimony. I would like to open um, this with prayer, um, the Lord's Prayer. I'd like to just um, pray. I dress myself in the armour. I plead the blood of Jesus. I'd just like to open with prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to talk about um, witchcraft attacks um, that really I've suffered since being the beginning of being a young Christian all the way through and I say that um, firstly I want to start before I was born again and I would walk down the street God bless thank you Jesus for this man who would walk down George Street and have a big sign and he would have scriptures from the Gospel of John um, you must be born again Jesus says I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me will live you know, um, you know, and he, he would, you know, um, and because I, I was not born again and I had, you know, a lot of issues and needed deliverance, I would feel pain inside me. Um, you know, obviously from, you know, demonic things that I need to be delivered from, but, um, I felt, could feel God and, and it really, like, I'm very grateful to God that he had that person walking down the street holding the sign with those scriptures in red um, and the next thing I want to talk about I'm coming back to that part of the story again but when I was born again I started to go to an Assemblies of God church this was before churches became apostate and were infiltrated and taken over by um, certain groups and things like that, very big name type churches. Assemblies of God in Australia was very good. There was, unbeknownst to me, there was someone who lived in my area, I didn't realise, but they were a witch and they attended that church. And one night, you know, like what you see in the cartoons when you see them with the wands and the stars and the pop, well, this... Um, what may have been that person, something came into my room like that and I heard it and I heard the spell and the chanting and I sat up in my bed straight away, I grabbed the Bible, I opened the Bible to Psalm 35, Psalm 35, which is incredibly powerful, beautiful Psalm and, um, you know, um, so I recommend reading it and um, at that um, this particular creature fled now I'd like to read Psalm 35 um, the, um, bear with me while I try to find this um, going to come under the light here my bible is in the book um, it's raining a bit so i'm going to quickly go to this psalm and we're going to read it very very quickly psalm 35 i'm going to read it um, which is a prayer for safety plead my cause O lord with them that strive with me Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. 
Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause they have hid for me their net in the pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon them unawares and let his net that he had hid catch himself into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the lord it shall rejoice in his salvation all my bones shall say lord who is like unto thee which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him yea the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him false witnesses did rise up they laid to my charge things that i knew not they rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick and my clothing was sackcloth, I humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he'd been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and cease not. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Rescue my soul, Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions, and I'll give thee thanks in the great congregation. I'll praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they open their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. Judge me with righteousness. This thou seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause. My God and my Lord, judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, O so we would have it. Let them not say we've swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long.